Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video, and this is my unboxing for another movie. And as you guys can see, it's the 4K version of Titanic. Uh, right before we get into this, uh, I'm not gonna make this video very long, or I'll try not to. <laughs> um, every time I feel like I say that, it comes out a little bit longer than I wanted it. Um, but I've been pretty sick for a week now uh so if i sound a little off or anything like that uh that is why i'm recording this literally right after i unboxed my avatar 3d and then my avatar and avatar the way of water collector's editions for the 4k releases so definitely check these out um i'm obviously gonna be releasing this video a lot later but Probably the week after, but still. Um, so, I've had this for a while. I've just been very busy. And, yeah, sorry. Uh, I've just been very, very busy. Um, but because of that, I've been putting off unboxing this. And I shouldn't because this is one of my all-time favorite movies. This and the Avatar movies. And a couple other movies as well are some of my all-time favorites. So I, you know, definitely should have unboxed this. But just been really busy and then I got sick for a week. I'm still sick. So, uh, but today I'm good enough where I'm like, okay, let me unbox this. So, um, I do have some stuff I got to say about this as well. The movie itself. Uh, but uh, we'll save that for the end. So, let's just go straight into this. First time on 4K Ultra HD, we got Jack and Rose over there, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, and James Cameron, and then the Titanic over here. Honestly, this is such, such a beautiful picture um, that really does represent this movie. Very similar to how these really represent... Um, the Avatar movies. So I love it when, you know, the studios for physical releases do things like this. Uh, this is just so good. And I love how there's a little bit of foil here on the ship. You, you can kind of see it right there. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, there isn't, there's a little bit of foil up here as well, but um, not on them. I think the, it would have been nice if there was some foil on them rather than just on the ship. But yeah, we got Jack and Rose and then the Titanic. And then we've got Rose and Jack over here. And then Rose and Jack again. And then Jack and Rose. And then here we go. First time on 4K Ultra HD. So. There are basically hours of bonus contents now, and it really takes you a lot to put into the world of Titanic, including a new documentary, which is pretty cool. Some new interviews, a look back on things, some conversations with Kate Winslet as well. So that's pretty cool. Would have been nice if Leonardo DiCaprio came back to do that little interview uh, rather than just Kate Winslet. So, yeah. I also like that the spines... It makes me think of how the VHS tape used to be because we used to have that for a very long time back in my home country. And I still remember, like, my mom bringing that home one day. And she's like, well, everyone's been talking about this for a long time. We just never got to watch it. So here, let's watch it. So I still kind of remember that, you know, seeing it somewhat for the first time like just that sensation really and then uh just everything that the movie meant to me as i was watching it um and it was just interesting because the vhs tape was like two tapes because the movie was too long or too long for the for one singular tape um so i'm i'm, I'm sure it's kind of the same thing for like 
discs uh like 4k discs and something like that if they really want to stretch out a long movie have it be on a high codec so that the quality is the best both visual and sound they can use a higher gigabyte 4k disc versus a lower one um so it's kind of that same thing the the gigabyte format they probably went with you know the higher one they could for the vhs tape and you know unfortunately they had split it in two parts even with that or maybe they just wanted to use what they could and it had to be split on two so it has had the most quality but on um, the back is basically the same I'm sorry, I'm starting to get like pretty dizzy and nauseous. So I'm probably gonna have to pause the video um, and get back to this, but I just wanna remove the shrink wrap. All right. Oh, for some reason my disc is loose. Uh, okay. Okay, so, well, that's interesting. It's kind of upsetting. The Blu-ray disc is blue, the 4K disc is black, no artwork. Um, yeah, that's really upsetting, especially considering the fact that, like, if you guys just saw my unboxing for these, there was so much art in them. Even the initial release for the 4K version of those movies, there is art on them. I don't know why for a movie as big as Titanic, they just went with this for 4K. Especially since they are honestly hyping it up as the first time on 4K Ultra HD. This is the kind of thing that they would do if it's like, yeah, this is like the 10th re-release. Let's just put a black logo on it. Or if it's like a movie, even though it did good, the studio didn't really care too much about the overall packaging design and they were just like, just put a low, uh, the title, that's it. So it's definitely upsetting. Um, so, and this isn't even the movie on the special, um, on uh, Blu-ray. This is just special features. Uh, this has the movie and special features, so... Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that there was, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's about 15 hours of bonus content here. So that's a lot. That's pretty cool. So I guess in terms of content that is inside, they're celebrating it. But in terms of packaging, they're kind of not. And that's a little bit upsetting. But yeah, it's still really, really nice that um, there are 15 hours of bonus features. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Titanic is literally a movie that means so, so, so much to me. Like, you guys have no idea how much this movie means to me. Um, ever since I was very little. And I'm not going to go into details explaining why. Um, but... Yeah, I'm just so glad I have this on 4K now. I've been waiting it for, for it for so long. So I'm glad that it's finally out. And um, yeah, I saw it released for the 25th anniversary in theaters. Uh, I think it was last year. And it was really emotional for me watching it in theaters because a lot of the sensations and feelings... Uh, that I had in regards to the movie and I've watched this movie so many times over the years and I always knew these like the story of like how you know my mom brought the VHS tape and like I remembered all of that but it wasn't that memory didn't become so clear until I was watching it in theater for some reason like I knew it but it was kind of hazy but then when I was watching it in theater it's like kind of like I was in two places at once where I was back then 
And everything was so clear. And I was like remembering the same thing, feeling the same thing, thinking the same thing. Um, and so it was kind of uh, strange, but beautiful at the same time. Um, and I even called my mom because um, I went by myself. And I was explaining it to her. And she's like, wow, I don't even remember that. I mean, I, I remember the tape, but, uh, you know, I don't really remember when I bought it. I just remember that I did. And I'm like, yeah, no, I remember this, 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 and this. Um, and this would have been about when I was like three, I suppose, or four. Uh, obviously, it was way after the movie originally came out because the movie came out in 97. Um, so yeah, it was about when I was three or four. Um, honestly, maybe it could have been as early as when I was two. Because I remember my mom left our country. And when we left the country, like my mom came back for us. Um, I remember that our VHS tape was already there. Then we went back for some time and stayed back in my country. Then we came back. So maybe it could have been then. Yeah, I'm not sure. At the earliest, when I was two. Uh, but most likely, I think it would have been when I was like three or four. Uh, because we stayed here in the U.S. for a year. Then we went back uh, for about a year. And then we, yeah. Uh, then we came back. So... Yeah, this movie just means so much to me, and watching it for the 25th anniversary in theaters was so special. But um, yeah, this movie just means so, so much to me, like so much, um, for many, many reasons. But yeah, um, so I'm just trying to think of what I want to say. Like, I, there's so much I want to say, but I'm already starting to get very, very dizzy, lightheaded, and nauseous again. Um so I think I'm going to be ending the video here. But again, guys, this movie is fantastic. I'm just so glad that it's here on 4K now. It means so much to me. Um, I'm glad I got to see it once in theaters uh, for the 25th anniversary. And, um, you know, the, the way I feel about the movie is the same as it has been since I was like three or four. Uh, so it's just so good. It's so, so good. It's so beautiful. It's so emotional. It's, it's so good. Um, but I I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely watch this movie. I'm sure you probably have, but go watch it again. Uh, please, if you guys haven't, check my unboxing out for the collector's edition for Avatar. Um, but with all that said, guys, I hope you guys have a good new year. And I hope you guys... Uh, really enjoy your celebrations as well so rate, come subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later have a good day